the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin is used for stopping and steering. It can also regulate the body temperature. The flippers on either side of the body are called pectoral flippers. Pectoral flippers are used for stopping and steering. There are five body digits in them, just like the human hands. The lobes on either side of the tail are called flukes. Now, the tail fluke is the killer whale's engine, propelling them nearly 30 miles per hour. That's as fast as some of our speedboats. Oh my God, you're but they swim the fastest and use the most power when they're propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies up and out of the water. Oh, 
and social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as a form of communication. A pectoral slap can be used to show dominance or get noticed. For example, a mother might use a pectoral slap when trying to get her cat's attention.
your iceberg. Go ahead and have a seat and hang on tight. <laughs> All right, and everybody else, if we want to give them a round of applause, they're about to get very, very wet. I guess it's too late to ask, but 55 degrees is okay, right? 55 degrees? That's no problem, right? Okay, good. <laughs> In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter. The females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches the exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator. For a killer whale. It's how they teach their young how to hunt and practice their skills as they grow. Or catching a wave. one another. We see it here at SeaWorld all the time. Our own whales are always imitating and learning from one another.
they will slide out onto a scale so we can monitor their weight, just like Orkin is doing in this video. Let us take a sample from their blowhole all because of the relationship we built here day after day at SeaWorld. At this time, I would like to introduce you to a very special whale. Please give it up for Orchid. Orchid is 35 years old. In fact, she's the first cat born here at SeaWorld San Diego. She's incredibly intelligent and knows over 300 behaviors and is adding to her repertoire every day. We challenge our whales to learn, engage, and stimulate their minds. Diet, exercise, and of course play help keep our whale in great shape. The whales here at SeaWorld have helped kill the whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing to understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect the population. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orcinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.